Hi and welcome back to our short videos on uh, business studies. We are in the topic of business structure and today we are going to look at a tiny topic inside business structure which is privatization. Um, just um, a reminder that privatization is part of the uh, A2 uh, syllabus in uh, your Cambridge international exams. So what will we uncover today? We will be looking at what privatization means and uh, to understand better we'll also talk about what are the benefits of privatizations and uh, what could be the limitation. Now privatization refers to the selling of uh, businesses in the public sector, uh, public sector refers to uh, all the businesses that's handled by the local government or the state, right? So the selling of the businesses from this sector into the private sector. So a quick recap, if you recall, private sector looks at more of a profit-oriented setup, right? So where people would have to pay for the services as opposed to the public sector where most of the services are catered uh, to society uh, at a very minimal cost or at times without fees. So um, privatize, to privatize means that fees will be charged now, which means businesses that is now owned by the private sector will need to charge consumers. So this means the once upon a time free uh, fees will no longer be free. Yeah. Um, on, on the good side or the benefits here, this would be good because the private sector is perceived to be more efficient or effective in terms of delivering quality service because people are paying for it so they would have to ensure that the services that they provide is up to a certain level. However, uh, at the same time, the government will also benefit uh, if, let's say, they were to sell this to the private sector because they would be able to receive funds and this would help them manage their debts if they were, you know, into such problems prior to selling that particular business to the private sector. All right, and it's important to note that the public sector is non-profit, right? And this could be uh, one of the reasons why uh, they would have lacked in terms of um, financial management. Now, what could be a limitation here? If you could see that the boxes are highlighted uh, in red, so that signifies some of the limitations. This would lead to some of the job losses in the public sector because it is now taken over by the private sector and they would want to actually um, you know, ensure that the business model is rationalized or made clean or fit to what is more efficient. All right? At the same time, the public may be a little wary with the, um, uh, the decision of the public sector to sell these publicly available uh, at the convenience of society, uh, you know, uh, businesses, because they themselves may not be able to afford paying um, higher prices for the services that was once upon a time free. So in a nutshell, these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the privatization uh, act should there be uh, you know uh, a need for businesses from the private uh, public sector sorry to convert into a private uh, company most of the time these businesses are converted into public limited companies once they are privatized so what should you take note of in terms of terms to remember from this short uh, unit. You need to understand what privatization means. You need to know how to define them. You need to also recap on what uh, private sector means and the public sector means, right? So these are important terms and also um, understand what could be the limitations uh, that would, you know, basically happen if businesses from the private sector sorry, for the public sector, would uh, privatise and how it impacts society at large. That's all for today's class. Thank you for following me this far. Um, be free, feel free to subscribe to this channel and go through the past videos on uh, enterprise and also there is one on the examination skills. Um, and I hope you benefit from these videos. Have a great day.